Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time. On Prank Call Nation. Cactus, 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 cactus. I ain't playing games. Cactus, 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 cactus. Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus, 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 this cocksucker. Cactus, 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 cactus. You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus, 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 cactus. It's going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus, 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 cactus. At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you. Hello everyone, this is RBCP, this is the Snowplow Show, the best show on the Prank Call Nation network machine, prankcallnation.com, and today I may just do nothing but uh, a list that a listener sent me. Uh, his name is Zion Wolf. He says, greetings, Zion Wolf here. These are requests of numbers to call whenever you want, unless you don't want to call them. I included some details and have some Google Maps images. Uh, I mentioned this on an earlier show. He sent me a docx file, and Zion Wolf is the last person I will ever open a docx file from, because it just seems like a bad idea. So please, just uh, don't send me weird-ass documents. Not to complain about you, Zion Wolf, but um, yeah, it's pro- just a bad idea. No, no more docx files. No more crazy files in my emails. Just send everything plain text, and it'll be fine. This entire docx file was plain text anyway. Uh, but he has a giant list of numbers here that I can call. Uh, lots of Google map imagery, and then it's just mixed in with people he seems to know personally. He's like, uh, owns a tow truck company, sells drugs on the side. Stuff like that. I'll probably just ignore those. Because he gave me permission to, he says, unless I don't want to call them. Today's show is sponsored by Jose. The one and only Jose from Mixler.com slash Jose hyphen Bravo hyphen one. Such a good URL there. You got to have lots of hyphens in your URL so people will remember it better. But uh, thanks for the support, Jose. Jose is a Patreon contributor. And you can be too by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. I have a lot to do on Patreon. Patreon is keeping me way too busy. I think I'm going to stop doing so many milestones because, I don't know, I feel like I'm in over my head on all this crap I have to do. Not that I'm not enjoying it, but I don't know. So a friend of mine got a job at uh, Papa John's recently. Papa John's Pizza. And he says a part of their training stuff, uh, part of their training materials, like rule books or whatever, I don't know exactly what he's talking about. Uh, but one of the rules, or one of the you know things, it says, do not give out customer information, even if the caller says they're from the corporate office. So that's pretty amazing. That's awesome that Papa John's is attempting to train employees because of things I've done. This means I have personally caused Papa John's to instate some little policy or rule or training thing, even if I'm not personally responsible for whatever incidents they're referring to. Pretty sure that uh, the phone show is responsible for the whole pizza thing we've been doing for years now. Didn't it start out with pizzas? I think it started out with uh, Walgreens photos, and then it took like a year for us to think to do that with pizzas. Anyway, way to go, Papa John's. You get, you get applause for uh, you know training your employees so well. I'm sure that the training, I, I'm sure that that rule will just uh, you know sink into their minds and last at least a week before they forget it forever and just start getting tricked all the time by people like us. Hey, before I get started, just so everyone knows, like I've been doing like nothing but pre-recorded prank call shows lately. And uh, I know a lot of you miss the live shows, and I swear, I'm not finished with live shows. I'm still going to do live shows. And I wanted to do a live show this weekend. I was going to do one last night, uh, Saturday night. But um, it was just so hot up here. Like, I'm in an attic room. Uh, The air conditioner doesn't really reach this room too well, so it's just... uh, 
I, I couldn't do it. it. It was really, really hot up here. I need to do something about that. And that needs to be like a milestone goal or something. <laughs> get get better air conditioning in the in the PLA situation room. But no, I, I need to start doing like live shows in the morning or something. I really like doing these pre-recorded shows like I'm doing right now. But I do miss the live shows. I will do some more soon. I'll do some morning shows before it gets really hot outside. I promise it'll happen. So let's get to Zion Wolf's list. The first person on the list, his name is Tom. And there is a picture, there is a Google Maps street view image. It looks like he lives in a brand new neighborhood. You know, there's like lots of land, but they're building on it. And it looks like it's going to be just a gigantic suburbs soon. But I've already noticed something about, um, about Tom's house that I don't like. Uh, it's, he has a swinging porch swing on his front porch. And uh, what does he think this neighborhood is? A bunch of rednecks? Why would he do that? So let's call Tom and, and try and convince him that this is not a good thing. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yeah. Hey, this is Chuck. I live down the street from you. Yeah. And um, I, I just, like, you've got that swing on your porch. Swing? Yeah, you know, like a hanging swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know. Can you just take that down? It looks dumb. I mean, it's your porch is not a tree. You know, you're not supposed to have right. swings hanging from your okay. porch. It looks like hobos. Looks like you're a hobo okay. there. Is there any way? All right. you, could you remove that, please? Remove my swing? Yeah, yeah. Can you just like, can you put it in a tree or something, yeah. or, or maybe yeah, make, that'd be fun. That'd make a be fun. make a swing set for the kids and out and back and, and right. put it on that? Well, sure do. Yep. Yeah, because I mean, it looks so dumb having a, a swing on your porch. Like, who does that? Okay, what's your last name? Bartowski. I live just Chuck down the ju just down the street on Harbor Lane. I don't know if I know you. Yeah, well, no, I just, I'm just saying you should, like, the swing looks really stupid. Okay. Is there any other comments you have about my wife that you'd like to share? Not really. I mean, you've got the dumb ATD sign out there, and I... We all know you don't have ADD. You're just trying to fool everybody, but that's fine. Just the the swing, really. The swing has got to go. Okay. Well, you might want to call the president of the homeowner association and maybe file a complaint or something. Maybe. I, I will if you don't take that swing down. Because. Okay. Really, I mean, who has a swing on their porch? Yeah. Quit quit pretending. Why, why would you? Quit pretending your why porch is a tree. Why would you spend your time today to come? Why would you call me up when I'm busy? And, you're not, you're and, not busy. And do this to me. You're not busy. You're watching television. I can hear it in the background. So, television is not busy. Well, I'm actually in Seattle and I'm I'm at work, so I I don't know what you're talking about. But you seem to be a genius in all categories. So, uh. So is nobody well, I'll call my wife and tell her to put the swing down, then. Okay, yes, please do, because, I mean, it's really getting in my nerves. I have to look at it every day when I'm driving to work. Every night when I come home from work, there's just, like, the swing on your porch, and, oh, my God, what the hell, you know? So how far are you going to take this? I, I'm just, like, just asking nicely if you could just take the swing down. Okay. Well, I'll be home next Monday, and I'll, I'll come down and, uh, which which house do you live in so I can come down and talk to you about this? Well, there's nothing to talk about. We're, we're already talking oh, about it. Oh, there is. Yeah, we're, you called me up. I guess there's something to say, right? We're, we're taking care of it you're right one, now. You're it's, the it's, one, it's, you, you're calling me up to talk, so I, I want to come down and, and get in your face about it, okay? Oh, I, no, we don't need to even do that. I'm, I'm offended. I'm offended by what you're doing here. I don't know what your gig is, but. Well, I, I'm offended by, like, the swing on your porch. I mean, like, so looks, you're going to stick to this? It just looks so stupid. Yeah, I mean, See, that's what—that's why I'm—that's why you're offending me. You're, you're saying stupid, and st that's so childish. What? Okay, what's more childish, that or putting a swing on your porch? I mean, how old are you? Did you actually drill hooks into your ceiling? How old are you? Like, I mean, why would how you do old this? Are you? How old are you? It's none of your business how old I am. I'm just trying to be Is a good. That right? I'm trying to be a good neighbor and and take care. You know, help you fix your swing problem. 
And then you're you're threatening wow. to get in my face. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm threatening to get right in your face and put my foot right up your ass. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a threat. You can take it however you want. I'm I'm going to tell the homeowners association on you. Great. You, I hope you do. I'll call her right now and let her know your. What's your name again? Chuck. Chuck what? Bartowski. Chuck Bartowski. And you're offended by my swing. <laughs> I'm sure the entire neighborhood is. It's not just me. Yeah. Cool. I mean, Anything else I can do for you? Maybe you used to live in like a really low income area and just, you know, just moved out here or something and, and like that you think that's okay. But, you know, people just don't put swings on their porches. Anything else you want to say to me? No, no, that's all. I guess I'll just talk to you when you come and get up in my face. Well, I guess I'm just going to call the police and and see what they think about it because this is this is really bizarre you're what gonna, you're doing. You're so, gonna you're gonna call the police and and tell. I the, think I should. I think I should because I'm I'm away from home and my wife's there and I feel threatened by what you're doing. Oh, that's retarded. Oh, now you're just retarded. No, I've, and see, that's the kind of thing that that you're you're. Uh, causing here really? so I'm, J- just because I have I'm, better uh, taste than you you feel threatened you feel threatened by my good taste that makes a lot of sense man go suck on a lemon <laughs> suck on a lemon oh that that he took that too far come on you don't tell another man to suck on a lemon that's worse than when that Christian guy told me he was going to stick a comic up my rear end oh my gosh Tom, uh, too far, man. Okay, so so far so good for Zion Wolf's numbers. Let's uh, try the next one on the list. Her name is Andrea, and he says she will get mad at anything. So just mess with her. You have reached the voicemail box of five. Okay, Andrea is not going to answer her phone. I, I've tried like four times now. She's just not picking up. It's ringing four times. Uh, I blame, I fully blame Jose for this because Jose is the sponsor of today's show. I do not blame Zion Wolf in any way. It's all Jose's fault. Thanks. Thanks a fucking lot, Jose. I'm just going to cross her off the list. No more Andrea. All right, we're going to call. It's time for Kevin Dean. This is another one on Google Maps, so I see a picture of the house here. Hello, you rich Kevin. Just leave your name and number after the beep. Kevin. Apparently his name has an A in it. Hello? Hi, Kevin. Yeah? Hey, this is Chuck from down the street. Yeah? Hey, hey um, my, my son was over there earlier like at your house and he peed on your um satellite dish like he he uh got up on a stool and then like he just peed all into the dish itself so it's like filled There's with not on my mind. It's up on the roof yeah that's what i'm saying he climbed up there and peed on it who is this oh, this is chuck from down the street I actually down the street from where well i live on cold stream drive and he climbed up on your roof and peed in the satellite dish. How'd he get up on my roof? Uh, I guess he used a ladder. But Who he, is your son? Yeah, because he, he took video of it. He put it on YouTube. He thought it'd be funny. He thought, it, you know, he's just, he's trying to be a YouTube star. And so he... There's no way he could pee on mine. What, are you on the roof now looking at it? No. Well, I don't know. What are you talking about? Like, I've, he's got video of it. I just, I watched the video. But do you want me to send him over there to clean it up? No. You, why not? It must not be my house, so somebody else's house. No, it's, it's definitely your house. He climbed up there and peed on your satellite dish. Yeah, but he must have dried it off. How can you even see it? Because I can look at it. He said he peed on your doorknob, too. Did you feel any pee on your doorknob when you went outside? What is this? Is this a prank? Because I... Oh, this is Chuck from down the street. Huh? This is Chuck from down the street. Chuck who? Bartowski on Coldstream Drive. Okay, well, well, what house you at on Coldstream? Why? 
You gonna come over and retaliate? I want to know. You gonna come over and retaliate and pee on our stuff? No, I'm not gonna come over and retaliate. What's your problem? Well, what's your problem? You're you're the one getting an attitude with me. Did he hang up? Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, he's gone. Hello, you reached Kevin. Just leave your name and number at the beep. I'll call you back as soon as okay. I can. Bye. Hey, remember a few shows ago? Uh, everyone had those weird, weird brick mailboxes. Uh, they do in this neighborhood too. Every single person on the street. Like, they don't match as well. Um, like, the bricks are all different kinds of bricks. Like, different shades of, of red. There's one here that's tan, but it's kind of strange. Everyone has a brick mailbox in Kevin's neighborhood. I mean, Kevin's neighborhood. If I lived in this neighborhood, I would get, like, just a regular mailbox on a wooden post and see if people complained at me. I'd show those neighbors of mine. Uh, Zion Wolf's idea for that one was to tell him that his house looks horrible. I didn't really get that far though, because he just hung up on me. Darn it. So next time I'm supposed to call Brad Smith. Brad Smith is a douche. Zion Wolf, that's not really an idea. What am I supposed to say to Brad Smith? Want me to just call him a douche? I'll just do that, because I don't know what to say. I'm just going to say, hey Brad Smith, you're a douche. That'll teach Brad Smith to have a phone. You have reached Eagle Lake property. Okay, thank God. I don't have to talk to Brad Smith. Deleting forever. So I got this letter in the mail uh, about a week ago, maybe two weeks. I posted it on uh, Phone Losers' Facebook page, facebook.com slash phone losers. And I'm pretty sure this letter is from Zion Wolf. Uh, I could be wrong, but... Uh, he he uh, paper clipped to the letter. This is like in the U.S. mail, like a, a paper letter, and he paper clipped a uh, leaf from a tree onto it. He says, "Due to your non-compliance in surrendering your quanking equipment," uh, he he writes all his P's backwards. What the hell, Zion Wolf? I have no choice but to demonstrate how your actions affect your. Oh yeah, backwards P. Pre precious cactus. Paperclipped to this letter is a leaf that I slowly and gainfully, not gainfully, painfully. What the hell, Zion Wolf? Backwards P's? Who does a backwards P? I've never seen a backwards P in my entire life. I mean, I've never seen anyone use it so much. But he painfully ripped from it. He even recorded the leaf's Screams of agony, which you will find in your voicemail in the near future. I have some voicemails to listen to. Maybe that's in there. So, Mr. Carter, unless you comply with the demands regarding the surrender of your cranking equipment, because it's a Q, not a, not a P, I will continue to demonstrate how much pain a cactus can take before joining Mildred Monday. The choice is yours. Regards Incognito, a.k.a. Zion Wolf, I think. I forget why I think that. I think, like, on, on uh, his email, it had his real name and, and, and something something. I don't know. I'm probably completely wrong. But, yeah, Zion Wolf's uh, psychotic. I I'm looking at the, the leaves on the trees on these uh, Google Street View images and trying to compare them. And I think they might be the same type of leaves. Next, we're calling Shirley. And uh, he has the best idea for this one ever. He says, I don't know, say something funny. Wow, thanks for the help, Zion Wolf. So there is a Street View image of her house. Hello? Hello, is this Shirley? Who's this, please? Oh, this is, uh, this is Chuck from down the street. I'm one of your neighbors. Oh, hold on, please. Okay. Security. Telephone. <laughs> Telephone? Oh, my. Hello? Hello, Shirley? Yeah? Hey, it's Chuck. I live down the street from you. Uh-huh. And uh, I've been getting your mail for, like, the past week. Like, I just keep, they keep delivering your mail to me. What's your address? 
I'm just down the street. I'm, I'm in the 1200 block of... Which house is it? Uh, it's a tan one. No, no, it's not brick. It's just tan. Tan siding. Across the street from me? Well, it's down the street. It's like, uh, you know, quarter of a mile or so. Huh. Isn't that like crazy? The, like, do you ever get my yeah, mail? Yeah, for, for the last week? Yeah, for about a week now, like a ton of mail. Or like there's bills and everything. Okay, um, well, I'll send my husband down to get it. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't come to my house. No, I can bring it over. All righty. Well, bring it over. But I'm, I'm not going to come to the door, though. Like, I'm just going to put it okay. under. I'm going to, I'm going to put all the mail underneath your truck. Like, all righty. I'm going to bring it over and put it underneath your truck. And I'll put some of it on, on top of the tires on the truck. Why won't you come to the door? Oh, and uh, I, I'll roll up one of them. Like, it's a, like a catalog or something. I'm going to roll it up and put it in the tailpipe. No, don't put it in a truck. Why not? It, it seems like that'd uh, be the best thing to do. It'll protect it from the heat. It's pretty kind of hot out today. Well, no, I'll stand at the door and you can hand it to me. Ooh, no, no, no. I don't. I don't touch people. You, yuck, gross. Yuck. No, um, no. I'm just. I'm gonna. Can I just throw it all over the yard? Can I just go? I'll drive by really fast in my car and just fling it out the window. Just whoosh. It'll be in the yard. And which house do you live in? I'm over uh, in the 1200 block on Star Hill. I don't think there's a 1200 block. Oh, you think I'm just lying? Ah, uh, this is really weird. Okay, well, I just, I want to get your mail, but I mean, you're, you're just trying to, you're making it difficult. You're, you're trying to like, just, I don't want to. Alrighty, just, just put it in a truck then. No, I'm going to, I'm going to throw it in the, I'll, I'll just, I'm just going to like throw it out the window as I drive by and I'm going to drive by really fast, like, like a hundred miles an hour. I'll just fling it up in and the air. And you're coming now? Uh, in about 10 minutes, I think I can. Alrighty. That'll be fine. I'm just going to throw it up in the air and it's just going to go everywhere in the sky. Ma'am? <laughs> I wasn't finished yet. Alright, I, did, I didn't obey uh, Zion Wolf on that one. I didn't say something funny. Okay, it looks like she's with AT&T for her local phone company. <laughs> Oh no, it's busy. I'm trying to call back and it's busy. Who's she calling? What's going on? No, don't be busy. Come on, Shirley. Hello? Hi, is this Shirley? Yes, this is Shirley. Oh, hello, this is Roy from AT&T, the phone company. Uh, yeah. What? Go ahead. Oh, this is Roy from the phone company. Uh, we uh, traced some uh, obscene calls. They've been coming from a house nearby. Yeah, where does it come from? Uh, it looks like it's in the 1200 block. 1200? Yeah, 1200 block of uh, the same street you're on. All right. Thank you. Do you want us to send our uh, phone tracing agents out there to take care of them? Uh, no, we'll we'll take care of it. Thank oh no, no, we, no, we'll take care of it. We don't want to start anything with your neighbors. We're just we're gonna do we're gonna take care of it. We're the well. I, uh, we're, this from is, what I understand. This is our turf, motherfucker. So we'll 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 deal with it. I, I'm just letting you know we're gonna deal with it, and we've traced the calls. We know exactly who they are. <laughs> so there, you have nothing to worry about, Mister. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. I got this. Okay, great. I'm Thank glad. You. I'm glad you approve. We're, we're, we've got agents on the way. You have a nice day. They, they're on their way with bats. All right, they're you gonna, have a good one. They're going to take care of these pranksters. All right, bye. Thanks. Have a good day. Okay, that was a better ending. Next, I'm calling Jeremy. 
Uh, I have a Google Street View of his house, but I can barely see his house. It's like out in the country, and his house is really far back. It's got a big wooden fence around his house. <sighs> so I think I'm going to take his fence. Oh. We're sorry. You have reached enough. All right, Jeremy was a disconnected number. Zion Wolf, if you're noticing a lot of gaps in your list, uh, it's either because they didn't pick up and, and then uh, other ones are disconnected. They are bad numbers. He sent me bad numbers. Only a hobo would send me bad numbers. Thanks for nothing. But don't worry, it's not your fault. It's Jose's fault. Let's take a listen to the voicemails. Uh, I can see the most recent one is actually from Zion Wolf's area code. Same area code that all these people are in that I'm calling. So, you know, maybe this is the screaming trees who were tortured. But, uh, well, yeah, let's let's hear what this says. Nizagata, it seems you're having difficulties in following our demands and surrendering your pranking equipment. I realize this must be a challenge for you. However, the tyranny of the PLA must cease. Therefore, I shall demonstrate how your inaction oh, results shit. in the suffering of your precious captives. Oh, shit. Yes. Tie it up. Tear off his leaves and thorns. Dismantle it piece by piece. Crap, crap, crap. Oh. Surrender your printing equipment. Please stop. Or stop even more drastic measures. The choice is yours, Mr. Gato. Wow, that was terrifying. Hopefully the next voicemails will be a little bit happier. Hi, Brad. I'm back with more jokes. Oh, great. Also, this was totally Olga, so I'm not really a he. Oh, but shit. I'm sorry. I know my voice sounds all deep and gay and stuff. I'm going to anyway, call you a he anyway. Jokes. In jail, convicts use cell phones. She became a telephone operator because it was her calling. Uh, let's see. Oh. I'm actually impressed that you have this many phone-related jokes. Uh, I should make, like, a page of phone jokes or something. They arrested a woman for causing an accident while on her cell phone. She was charged with driving while intoxicated. Okay, I'm done now. Bye. <laughs> that was the best one. They sound like the kind of jokes that you would see on a popsicle stick. Maybe. I don't know. All right, here's a call from phone number 666-666-6666. Hello, Roy. My name is Hubert Mumperdink. <laughs> I am an intergalactic being from Sector 9, region of Andromeda. I was speaking to the Disney concierge, and she politely, he, he explained that upon request, you were the one with the most cactus and saxophone lesbian supply on Earth. Yes. I will be visiting you shortly and expect a nicely made bed and free water for the duration of my stay, which is the next two light years. I demand nightly walks on the beach, and I also demand that you end your next show with a song, Boys Club by Ween. Thank you, Royce. <laughs> it's going to stay with me for two light years. Is light years even a, a, a measure of time? I don't... Ah, oh, fuck it. Who cares? I can't wait for you to stay, though. It's going to be the best time ever. You can protect me from this uh, insane Zion Wolf guy that's threatening to steal my equipment. Because I, you know, assume that your technology is far superior to that of Zion Wolf's. Good afternoon. This message is for Roy. My name is Alex, and I'm calling on behalf of the Church of Jesus Day Christ of Latter-day Saint. Uh, right here, the New York headquarters division. Um, I work. All right, that one's really long. It's a sales pitch for Jesus. Thank you, whoever called them for me. Hey, Brad, it's Daryl from Maryland. 
I just wanted to let you know that I finally hacked an answering machine. Holy shit. Yes, the Clown Sex answering machine. Oh. Oh, my God. That's not mine. That's Clown Sex. Gosh, I don't know when you're going to listen to this. Wait a minute. Are, are you supposed to hack their machine? Message, but I am in euphoria. I must have no life because I just spent an hour and a half going through all these numbers, and I hacked it. So... If you'd like to hear what I've left on the Clown Sec answering machine, you already know the direct number to the Clown Sec answering machine. I think this is a trick. You're just trying to get me. This is Clown Sec calling me. The answering service. I have changed the passcode, but I will give you the passcode just for you. One and all my five. listeners. Again, that's one. I'm turning it down. <laughs> to hear the outgoing message that I have now put on the Clown Sec answering machine. Again, one phone. And if you hear this and would like to call to discuss the message that I have put on the Clown Sec answering machine, 410. Not going to call you. I hope to hear from you soon. Love the Snowplow Show. You never will hear from me. So I don't understand, though. Like, the Clown Sec, they have a system very similar to uh, phone losers, uh, you know, to our TNI box machine, whatever it's called. And you're not really supposed to hack it, as far as I know. So hopefully I didn't get their machine hacked. Let's call it up real quick. Let, let's see if, um, if Clown Sex just messing with me. I'm, I'm gonna dial the number he said. Hello, stranger. Allow me to welcome you to the Clown Sex from this... Sorry, chap, it seems the number you have pressed... Okay, I thought maybe it was like a special code I could dial when I call into their system and I could, um... You know hear hear a, a personal message to myself but no sorry clown sec that i got you hacked hello bradley this is your mother i just wanted Hi, to mom. call and say fuck her right in the pussy oh shit mom's been taking her steroids okay i'm gonna finish zion wolf's stupid list uh, I think I mentioned it before, but uh, there, there's like a lot of disconnected numbers, and so uh, if you're wondering, Zion Wolf, that's that's what's happening here. That's why I'm not calling all of your numbers because not all of them have worked. But it's been awesome. Thank you for sending the list. I've had fun with these. Hello. Hi, is Mike there? No, he isn't. May I take a message? Oh well, this is uh, Chuck. I live just uh, you know down the road from you. Chuck. Yeah. Is is there any way you could clean up your yard? You make it look like we're just a bunch of hobos in this neighborhood. Could you just like, you know, clean, fix your yard, ma'am? What are you talking about? Oh, I mean, it's just so messy and there's just trash everywhere. Could you just fix up your yard? Well, I'm sorry if you feel that way. I don't know what to tell you. There, there's always cars parked in the yard. You've got the wrong number. Who are you calling? Well, you I mean, you have the truck out there. I don't have the wrong number. I'm calling Mike. The truck? What are you talking about? And there's a trailer out there. You just need to clean up your yard. Your yard is just, it looks, it makes us all look like a bunch of hobos. Who is this? Now, this is Chuck still. I'm still Chuck. Chuck who? Chuck Bartowski. Where do you live? Uh, just up the road a bit. I'm, I'm on 600 also. I just like way up the road. But I have to drive by all the time. Like when I go to work and stuff. And, and you I have don't to... have to drive by here. We're off of the road. No, I have to. You don't know where I work. But I mean, every time I drive by, I just, I see this hobo. I see the hobo house. That's what I call it. The hobo house. That isn't our house. It, what do you mean it's not your house? I know which house is yours. The white brick one? Yeah, of course. That is not our house. And it's not brick. You're, you're just putting words in my mouth. I didn't say brick. Our house is brick, sir. Our house is brick with with uh, metal siding. It doesn't look like brick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's siding. It's like a hobo grade siding. You know, you give me your name and number, and I'm going to have my husband call you and talk to you. Okay. My name is Chuck Bartowski for the one millionth time now. Do you want my number? It's on caller ID. Just look yeah. look at your caller ID. I don't have caller ID, sir. Oh, my God. Only a hobo wouldn't have caller ID. What kind of hobos are you? Give me your phone number, please. 
Sure, it's uh, area code two zero five. Tell me again where you live. What What is your address? Oh, I don't have to give you my address. I, it's just up the street, though. It's up six hundred, and I always have to drive by to for work and stuff. And and you if live. If you drive on six hundred, you don't go by our house. I do too. You have like that uh, stupid L-shaped pond. No, we it, don't have a stupid L-shaped pond. We don't even have a pond. It, I well, I mean, I guess it's just water, like because you don't have good drainage there. Like we it's don't just, have that in front of our it's house. It's on the side here. of the road. You just need to clean up your yard. I mean, geez. Why don't you come down here and talk to me in person instead of over the phone and be like a man and do it? Well, I don't have time because I got to work today. But well, I ha- I have time to talk to you. If you've got if you've got a gripe. Come yeah. down and do it in person. Well, I know you have time because you're a hobo. You don't have a job. I work, sir. I work still. And don't tell me. And quit calling me a hobo. <laughs> I doubt that very much, ma'am. I, I well, seriously doubt you it. You haven't heard the last of this. Oh, really? What are you going to do? Like, come over and threaten me with like some kind of ho- I'm not going to ho- do anything. I think uh, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to do nothing. But oh. if you've got a gripe against our place, you come over here and talk to us in person. You know, only a hobo would use a double negative. <laughs> oh, I messed that one up so bad. But I swear, I'm looking at their street, and the other things she described to me, it's accurate. But um, it, it's like this giant mess of water at, on, on the side of the street, kind of. I don't think it's really theirs. It's not a pond. It's just like a big water overflow. It's probably not even there anymore. But that was the last number on Zion Wolf's list. Uh, There were a bunch of numbers that um, they were disconnected or they just didn't answer. And I just want to get rid of the list, so I'm not saving them. I'm just deleting them all. But thank you very much, Zion Wolf, for um, sending those to me. And thank you, Jose, for uh, sponsoring uh, the sending of those numbers to me. And, uh, you know, thanks to Zion Wolf for all the threatening, for the threatening voicemail. That was really great. Oh, I can't believe that hobo lady. So I guess I'm just going to quit. I I want this to be like a Zion-only themed show. And I'm I'm not sure how long this is going to be. Like, uh, on my, uh, according to my recording stuff, I've been doing this for an hour and 20 minutes. But uh, I know there's going to be a lot of stuff edited out because of the no no answers and, and stuff. Oh crap! I just I I just uh, swung the camera around on Google Street View on that hobo lady, and uh, I think I think Google was pointing me at the wrong house. I see like a brick and siding house now across the street. It, it gave me the wrong one. <laughs> oh man! Oh well, <laughs> it, it still it worked out for the best. Anyway, thanks everybody for listening. Uh, there will be more shows this week. Maybe live shows, maybe not. I don't know. It just depends on what my schedule is like. And what the weather is like. If I can handle, uh, you know, all the heat up here in my hobo attic. Since it's a Sunday, I'm going to play a religious song to end the show with. Uh, I'm dedicating this to you, though, Zion Wolf. Enjoy this. for the support Jose Jose is a Patreon contributor and you can be too by going to patreon.com slash phone losers I have a lot to do on Patreon Patreon is keeping me way too busy I think I'm going to stop doing so many milestones because I don't know I feel like I'm in over my head on all this crap I have to do not that I'm not enjoying it but I don't know so a friend of mine got a job at uh, Papa John's recently Papa John's Pizza, and he says a part of their training stuff, uh, part of their training materials, like rule books or whatever, I don't know exactly what he's talking about, Uh, but one of the rules, or one of the, you know, things, it says, do not give out customer information, even if the caller says they're from the corporate office. So that's pretty amazing. That's awesome that Papa John's is attempting to train employees because of things I've done. This means I have personally caused 
Papa John's to instate some little policy or rule or training thing, even if I'm not personally responsible for whatever incidents they're referring to. Pretty sure that uh, the phone show is responsible for the whole pizza thing we've been doing for years now. Didn't uh, I mentioned this on an earlier show. He sent me a docx file, and Zion Wolf is the last person I will ever open a docx file from. Because it just seems like a bad idea. So please, just uh, don't send me weird ass documents. Not to complain about you, Zion Wolf, but um, yeah, it's pro just a bad idea. No, no more docx files. No more crazy files in my emails. Just send everything plain text, and it'll be fine. This entire docx file was plain text anyway. Uh, but he has a giant list of numbers here that I can call. Uh, lots of Google map imagery, and then it's just mixed in with people he seems to know personally. He's like, uh, owns a tow truck company, sells drugs on the side. Stuff like that. I'll probably just ignore those. Because he gave me permission to, he says, unless I don't want to call them. Today's show is sponsored by Jose. The one and only Jose from Mixler.com slash Jose hyphen bravo hyphen one. Such a good URL there. You gotta have lots of hyphens in your URL so people re will remember it better. But uh, thanks. Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time. On Prank Call Nation. Cactus, 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 cactus. I'm playing games. Cactus, 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 cactus. Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus, 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 this cocksucker. Cactus, 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 cactus. You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus, 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 cactus. It's going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus, 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 cactus. At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you! Hello everyone, this is RBCP, this is the Snowplow Show, the best show on the Prank Call Nation network machine, prankcallnation.com, and today I may just do nothing but uh, a list that a listener sent me. Uh, his name is Zion Wolf. He says, greetings, Zion Wolf here. These are requests of numbers to call whenever you want, unless you don't want to call them. I included some details and have some Google Maps images. Didn't it start out with pizzas? I think it started out with uh, Walgreens photos. And then it took like a year for us to think to do that with pizzas. Anyway, way to go, Papa John's. Um, you, get, you get applause for uh, you know training your employees so well. I'm sure that the training... I, I'm sure that that rule will just, uh, you know, sink into their minds and last at least a week before they forget it forever and just start getting tricked all the time by people like us. Hey, before I get started, just so everyone knows, like, I've been doing, like, nothing but pre-recorded prank call shows lately, and uh, I know a lot of you miss the live shows, and I swear, I'm not finished with live shows. I'm still going to do live shows. And I wanted to do a live show this weekend. I was going to do one last night, uh, Saturday night. But um, it was just so hot up here. Like, I'm in an attic room. Uh, the air conditioner doesn't really reach this room too well, so it's just, uh, I, I couldn't do it. it. It was really, really hot up here. I need to do something about that. And that needs to be like a milestone goal or something. <laughs> get get better air conditioning in the, in the PLA situation room. But no, I, I need to start doing like live shows in the morning or something. I really like doing these pre-recorded shows like I'm doing right now. But I do miss the live shows. I will do some more soon. I'll do some morning shows before it gets really hot outside. I promise it'll happen. So let's get to Zion Wolf's list. The first person on the list, his name is Tom. And there is a picture, there is a Google Maps street view image. It looks like he lives in a brand new neighborhood. And there's like lots of land, but they're building on it. And it looks like it's gonna be just the gigantic suburbs soon. But I've already noticed something about, um, about Tom's house that I don't like. Uh, it's, he has a swinging porch swing on his front porch. And uh, what does he think this neighborhood is? A bunch of rednecks? Why would he do that? So let's call Tom and, and 
try and convince him that this is not a good thing. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yeah. Hey, this is Chuck. I live down the street from you. Yeah. And um, I, I just, like, you've got that swing on your porch. Swing? Yeah, you know, like a hanging swing. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And um, I don't know. Can you just take that down? It looks dumb. I mean, it's your porch is not a tree. Like, you know, you're not supposed to have right. swings hanging from your okay. porch. It looks like hobos. Looks like you're a hobo okay. there. Okay. 